to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Now today it is time for the monthly Q&A, which is when you guys go to my Instagram account at Federico Talks Watches, obviously, and I put up a picture and you ask your questions and I try and answer uh, a few of them. But of course, before we get started, a couple of announcements. My brother and business partner, well not actually my brother, my, my you know, it's a saying, my boy, John P., uh, my partner here at Delray Watch Supply, just made a YouTube channel, and he's going to talk a little bit about vintage. So if you guys are interested in vintage watches and just want to show him your support, he's a little nervous never having done this YouTube thing, apart from a couple videos with me, I think you should really go check it out. Link in the description below. Please go subscribe to him, show him some love, and don't be too harsh on the guy. He's just starting out. And, of course, go check out DelrayWatch.com. I just got in a couple of really cool watches, a Tudor left-hand drive Pelagos, which is pretty amazing, a blue and white Omega Speedmaster Broad Arrow, which is uh, also very, very interesting, and it's automatic, which is super cool, as well as, ooh, what else did I get? We got a couple of things. Oh, yeah, the Ming watch. Small micro brand um, out of Malaysia, but their watches are made in Switzerland. These things are sold out everywhere super interesting design go check them out delraywatch.com link in the description below and of course today rocking the hulk love it anyway guys i'm going to be reading the questions off of my screen so i'm not trying to be rude and ignoring you so if you see me staring over here that's what i'm doing so let's start off with the first question from eduardo of Dies. and he says what is the best day date watch under $500 and under $1,000? Word, Eduardo, this for me is a super easy choice. Um, I've mentioned it many, many times in my videos. The Hamilton Khaki King. 80 hour power reserve, modified at a movement, fantastic design, uh, made famous also by Dr. House, who wore it in the show. House, <laughs> his namesake. And it's just a great military style watch that's very, very um, transcendent. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's got a day date. Hamilton's a great brand. And of course, this can be had under 400 bucks, even with the old Etta movement. So I don't know. I think it's a great choice. And even under 1,000 bucks, I'd still go with the Hamilton Khaki King. Uh, it's really hard to beat. I love that watch. Then we have Beat BZ. What is your ultimate grail in the pendant brand? watch and why man <laughs> this is super hard um it used to be fp Jorn, and not that my opinion has changed of fp Jorn, but uh my horizons have expanded i now love kerry Vudalainen. uh i love ivan arpa i love serap neva not a big fan of richard meal i mean there's there's a ton i guess if you twisted my arm and had me pick one I'd probably go F.P. Jorn. The man is an absolute lunatic, but he's a genius. He actually almost got me fired from a job once, but uh, I'm going to keep that for a different video. Maybe I'll tell that story one day. Joan Velice says, oh my God, how much of your day is consumed by watches? Joan, all of my day. I mean, if I'm not sleeping, I'm consumed by watches. I'm either shooting videos, planning videos, writing down ideas, answering customer queries for DelrayWatch.com, photographing watches, um, pricing watches, trying to buy watches, trying to sell watches, getting watches repaired, buying watch straps. I mean, my life is one big watch, which, uh, you know, sounds awesome. And 99% of the time it is. But as I mentioned in my last q and it gets tiring sometimes. But, uh, you know, I'm never going to bullshit you guys. I'm very, very honest. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. I wouldn't have any other job, but don't forget, it is a job. So it's not always, uh, you know, fun and games around here. Justin Hill 87 do you think the Tudor Heritage Black Bay, the in-house movement, will hold around 3000 or depreciate more? Well, Justin, I think it's going to depreciate a little bit. I mean, if you sell it to a dealer, it's already not worth three grand, uh, quite a bit under three grand. Uh, selling a private party, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's about around there. Uh, however, this is not a Rolex. Tudor is not Rolex, as much as people want it to be. 
it will depreciate a little bit more, but generally it does hold its uh, value quite well. So I don't expect it to tank. Jojo DNY. If you could choose one watch for the rest of your life, what would it be? I'm not answering that question. I think it's nearly impossible. I'm not monogamous when it comes to watches. I can't be. My mind changes too much. I love them all, all shapes and sizes. A temporal. Hey, Fed, love your feed. Hey, thank you, brother. I'm about to quit my daily job and start as an entrepreneur. Any suggestions? Yeah, there is one suggestion. Um, and that is, it's okay to be scared. Uh, even though my business, you know, I quit my, my job about a year and a half ago and I've been doing this, supporting myself full time. Things are going very well and I want to thank you guys. You've changed my life. But still, I'm still scared every day. You know, what if I have a bad month? What if I have a bad couple of months? What if I get robbed? Uh, what if something happens? What if the watch market crashes? But the point is, it's okay to be scared because it's healthy. It keeps you sharp. Just don't let it paralyze you. Keep on going. I've never worked this hard in my entire life, but I've also never been happier. It's very, very rewarding. And then a uh, short little Q&A today, the last question from the Sandwich Time channel. When you disagree with Jory, how often would you rather just give him the verbal pimp slap than be so diplomatic? Uh, well, Sandwich Time, Jory's a good friend of mine. Um, we disagree often. And, you know, sometimes I verbally pimp slap him and he verbally pimp slaps me, but we're boys, so I'm never upset with him. It's just things get heated, and he gets heated with me, and I guess being diplomatic is part of my nature, being trained by, like, uh, Richemont. I, I'm, you know, very, very diplomatic. I, I don't like to uh, upset people. But at the same time, uh, I think it makes for great episodes. So I'm not, I'm never actually upset with him. It just gets a little heated, and that's fine. It's great entertainment for you guys, at least I like to think. Anyway, guys, that's this month's q and I'm sorry I'm cutting it short. But I've got a ton of work on my desk. i got to get it done um, because I'm actually taking a little watch pilgrimage this weekend. Um, not letting you guys know what it is, but hopefully I'll shoot a video and uh, you'll get to see. So guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please don't forget to, Del forget to go to DelrayWatch.com and go check out John's channel called Chatting with John P. Link in the description below. Guys, thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.